Listener discretion is advised. Michelle, how's your day? It's, I love shots. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the I Should Totally Be Dead Right Now podcast, where we tell true stories of survivors of true crime, natural disasters, and everything else in between. It is our one year episode. We've been doing this for one year. Holy cow. People need to listen more. But I <laughs> thought we hit a one year like two months ago. That's, so. <laughs> that's cute. I'm glad we finally hit it. Yeah. No. So we're super excited. Our guest today is Amy. Woo! All the way from Wisconsin. Happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you for being on. She's only in town for a little bit, and we got her to be Amy on it. Amy and I were super good friends. Well, I mean, we're still good friends. I was going to say friends. Bert. <laughs> yeah. Like, listen, Not bitch. Anymore, <laughs> but we were. <laughs> I like to say a little aloof now. <laughs> that I don't even know what I said. <laughs> aloof? Aloof. Oh, I feel like life. we should share the story of how you think I looked like I was 20. Because well, I love no. It. It's when... like you're going to make a friend forever if you tell them a 29 year old that you look <laughs> like you're 20. <laughs> well, so. I approached her at work and we like worked at the night shift and we had both first started. And as you say, we were both kind of transplants. So we had our friend Debbie, who was from Alaska. Amy was from Wisconsin and I was from California. And so we didn't have a lot of friends mm-hmm. in Oregon at this point. And I remember I was like, oh, I'm going to party with Amy. But I was not sure if she was 21 yet (laughs) because she looks so young. Yeah. And, you know, at that point, I'm like 23 or 24. And Mm -hmm. so I like go in and like, are you of drinking age? (laughs) (laughs) She's like, bitch, yeah. (laughs) I'm sure I didn't say bitch yet. (laughs) No, probably not. But I like to add it in my head. I started like, oh, thank you. But But, yes. Yeah. (laughs) So, turns out she was, in fact, older than me, but looked younger. I was probably looking a little haggard already by that point. <laughs> I don't think so. Aww. All my partying days down in San Francisco maybe were taking their toll. I don't know. Nah. No. I'm sure you didn't Nicely, that. you aged pretty well. Oh, <laughs> You're killing it still. Good job. Yeah. Your crow's feet are not out of control at all. <laughs> Uh, but like Caitlin was probably what? How old were you? Two thousand one. You would have been fifteen. Not no, 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 ten. Ten. We decided. I was ten. So I was Don't ten. Mean. So I probably saw you here and there. No, but then I started working with you. Yeah, I did work with you for a little bit. Yeah, I always knew. And you I was older because your yeah. mom. Yeah, my mom worked with you way yeah. before. We partied I hard with Shut your mom. Up. <laughs> oh yeah, your mom and dad. And dad. I know. They're the best. They were. They are the best. Well, they are the best. Yeah, they still. Man. And then We're the gonna best party Halloween next weekend. Costumes. Yeah. What? Your Halloween, Halloween costumes, costumes, yeah. No, yeah, my mom is coming next weekend, so I'm her DD. <laughs> <laughs> because you're doing so, more Sober October. Yeah, or... so we're recording this in September because I'm doing Sober October, which I'm not sure why. How did know. Sober yeah, October it? come up? It's just you don't drink or, or smoke or do anything that would not make you sober. And we did that with a group of friends. We're like, hey, we should do this. And I thought they were joking, but they're serious. <laughs> so I said, I'll try. So I'm going to give it a good college try. <laughs> so see. it's not for like a charity or anything. It's just because. No, just to see if, if you, you can, can do it. It might be good for me for my liver to like reset. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, I don't think you drink so hard. That, October 5th, she's going to be having withdrawal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll be drinking upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Like at the house. Yeah. Don't tell Nicholas. Yeah. <laughs> we'll don't tell my friend group. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I am not participating I know. in October. Yeah. October. So. so this weekend is my last weekend of alcohol. So. All right. We're going to have a good time with yeah, it. Yeah, we are. All right. Um. So Amy actually has two stories. Well, first, so, what are we drinking? Oh my gosh! Because yes, I always fucking yes. forget the name of these. I want to. Yes. Did you say something about apples? No. No, earlier? you just want it to have apples. I think I do. Like, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just imagining that we're just calling it Apple Jacks or some shit. Yeah. And so we're not. I brought the Wisconsin. It's like the official Wisconsin drink. It's Ooh. Brandy, old fashioned, sweet. We did. Okay. So, like, in Wisconsin, this is the drink. But you can either do brandy or whiskey, and okay. you can do sweet or sour. Mm. So, there's a lot of options. Yeah. But this is, like, the thing. Because apparently in the World's Fair in 1893, brandy was a thing. 
Oh. So Corbell. So oh. Corbell is. I think I just read that Corbell is still like the number one brandy seller in Wisconsin. Corbell was actually right around the corner from the high school I went to. Oh yeah. So did we I, build it? Yeah, we did. We did I I like dragged your ass there because I was like, yeah. it's right around the corner from my high school. Oh, in California? Yeah, Corbell oh, okay. is just right there. I grew up in wine country, so it's ah, all just, I it's see. all there. Cool. So um, I think you guys were a little hesitant. I was. The, but they turned out pretty good. Wow. Yeah, we're, well, we're scared of brandy and we're scared of whiskey. We are. And like <laughs> we, we we're just nervous about those. Because one, I just can't drink whiskey. It just like, burns. I don't know. Yeah, I just I, don't yeah. get the flavor. I find it wildly unpleasant. And I like the, was it Crown Apple with cranberry juice? I can do that. Yeah. I think I've taken too many shots of Fireball? brown back oh. in the day. That mm-hmm. Fireball's just... okay. Yeah, well, that's like cinnamony. Yeah, you know. I don't know. Just brandy or whiskey. Yeah, so we were Anyways. like, eh, eh, thanks for the drink suggestion, Amy. Yeah, I know. But they are the super good. They are good. So we, so what all went in here? We had, um, we had two cubes of sugar, and then we did three dabs of bitter, or three... Shakes of bitter. I don't know what the fuck you called it. Dashes. I Dashes. Think. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and then we put some orange, like an orange wedge in there and two cherries. And I muddled the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. And then we added, um, I think you're supposed to add a shot and a half, but I only added a shot of brandy. And then we filled the rest with 7-Up. It is. And with a little ice. And it's quite, quite yeah. tasty. Yeah. We didn't try the sour, but. We did not try the sour. What's the sour? Okay. How do you make it sour? So same thing. You just use a sour mix or. Oh, okay. Instead of the Seven Up, you yeah. just add sour. And then I Which thought we have down there. Use, like a different. Um, we could try bitter, it. Different uh, garnish then. Oh, because we had a cherry. Yeah. So like okay. my dad used to drink a whiskey sour, which is mm. whiskey and sour, right. and then he always had olives in it. So. Olives? It How strange. Yeah. I, Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's going on over there? You guys are all milk drunk. Yeah. <laughs> milk drunk. Wait, you say you're going to bring a cheese plate. <gasps> we forgot the cheese. Oh, no. Oh, it's in the fridge at home. We're going to have to stop this podcast <laughs> until I get some cheese. We're, we're going to pop this on pause yeah. for just a little bit. You'll get some cheese. Okay. Just not here, unfortunately. Fine, fine. So. It's not opened yet. Fine, fine. Maybe, okay. maybe tomorrow or Monday, mm-hmm. whenever we do the next one. Well, cool. Well, um, if you want to check out our drinks, it's on our Instagram and Facebook page. Um, yeah, these was, are tasty because they're I'm super still drinking good. Out. Mm. Yeah, and then on our, uh, you follow us. Our story was uh, we had Huckleberry liqueur uh, mm. shots. That was delicious. It was really good. Yeah, was it Willie's? Willie's, Willie's Huckleberry. Sweet yeah. cream liqueur. It's really gummy. And then we had that damn Irish Five cream. Farms. Yeah, <laughs> it's I back. love that. Yeah. It's good. It's so good. I swear to God, I should just be a spokesman for, for that Maybe. drink. Because... Hit us up, Five Farms. Hashtag <laughs> Five Farms. Yeah. Um, we'll that... We're just going to be putting hashtag Five Farms everywhere, so yeah. maybe they'll eventually reach out to us and maybe, maybe give us some Maybe you can do like free. a crossover with maybe it was like the bee stuff and then you can oh. Like oh. some kind of collaboration if you will damn amy <laughs> they and business ideas all yeah. over the place yeah, and caitlin yeah. could do like the commercials for it <gasps> we're all getting goosebumps <laughs> i will here. give you my invoice later <laughs> well people don't know michelle does work with bees i do oh, yeah i guess it's never come up it has not has it not no. i thought we've done stuff with honey before yeah business fucking girl. killing it with bees be food Bee food. Yeah, I do make bee food for a living. That is my job. And I help. (laughs) (laughs) You just uh, cut the shit out of those, and it's awesome. And you can find them on. (laughs) We're on Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Oh, yes. I like (laughs) prettyacres.com because you get a commission for that. That's true. (laughs) Prettyacres.com. And that's P-R-I-D-D-Y. That's right. Pretty to look at. So... Amy has two stories, yes. and so she has a short one, and then I'll go with my story, and then she has another one, so I'm excited. I'm excited it. about both your she stories. She also yeah. has a little notebook like me, I so do. I'm excited. It's cool, though. It's I got, do. like, a map on it. Yeah, it's oh, my wow. planner. So it's it's a pretty cool. sweet notebook. It is. All right, let's let's jump in it. Let's okay. do it, Amy. So when I was trying to come up with a story, I figured I had to have something from Wisconsin, yes. right? Obviously. But, you know, our serial killers don't really leave survivors. <laughs> So, so good. I should I mean, laugh Jeffrey at that. Dahmer, Ed Gein, we don't have a good history. Ed Gein was from Wisconsin? Yes. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. Mm. So, and so I was trying to think, and there's a few things. Um, and I thought, well, what would be really good is a farming accident. Oh, because you guys <laughs> haven't had that yet. No, we have so. not. <laughs> well, it's so funny because I always think of is it the silos that you're like, oh, you yeah. can't play in the silos because yes. like you'll sink in the you'll sink and and yeah, I actually be really and the gases. It's more the gases. Oh, and oh, so you it? just sort of suffocate in there, right? Yeah. And it's where they hold all the grains and everything. Yeah. Correct? And so, um, actually, the people. The woman who sold Carrie and Jeff their house, her husband died in a silo oh my because he like went in and got caught and couldn't get out. Yeah, and... yeah, because if you go in, the gases will make you lightheaded because they're you know enclosed in the silo. But then you can like sink depending on what they had in the silo. You can sink. I think he sunk down and yeah. essentially suffocated. Yeah, because you can't like. It's like remember Witness? Do you remember Witness? No. Barely, yeah. Have you it's seen a... the Quiet? What's it called? The Quiet Place. The Quiet Place. Oh no, I have not. Oh, does it have a silo in it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, don't play in the silo. Don't play That's in the what I well, this, now know because of you. This story Amy. does not have anything to do with the silo. Okay. So. Okay. I apologize. But it's a pretty short story. So okay. it's my uh, coworker Kristen. Kristen, if you're listening, hello. Um, <laughs> Hi, Kristen. And I wave too, just so you know. <laughs> um, she, her dad, and that's actually in Illinois, so it's not really Wisconsin, but it's Midwest. Okay. Yeah. Her dad owns a farm in Illinois, and they, he was out in one of their sheds one day um, lifting bales. So he was in a cabless tractor, and we were trying to figure out how big the tractor is, so I fi- we kind of figured the wheels we're about like shoulder height to so me. So when you say cabless tractor, are you just talking about like I'm just sitting on it and there's yeah. open air? Yeah, there's you know, no. It's just like a cover, seat no and cover. a steering wheel and yeah. you're just on the tractor. And this one is specifically made to lift bales. Like you guys have seen like the giant bales. I think, Not yeah. And so they kind of, it's almost like a pallet jack, but sort of from the side. Um, is no, that this one has about? like a rod. So like okay. a rod in the front to lift it up. So you put the rod in to oh, the bale. Oh, inside the bale and, and lift, lift it up. It up. Okay. okay, okay. No, they're only meant for like one bale, I think, at a time. So you're talking about bales that we figured they're eight by four by four. Okay. Oh, and so that like is compact. a large bale. Yeah, and compact, so they're really dense. And so we don't know how much they weigh. I was, I was, I'm going to probably say like 200 pounds or something. More than, I think more than more that. More than that? We were oh, thinking wow. between 500 and 1,000 pounds. Oh, oh wow. shit. Okay. Because yeah. okay. okay. they're, you know, they're all packed in together. Mm-hmm. So now if you know any farmers, you'll know this is pretty normal. They decide to do more than they think they can do. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and if her, if her dad's listening, I'm sorry, but like my brother and dad were the same way. But he decided he wanted to lift three bales. Oh, oh. dear. So he put that into the bottom, the like rod thing into the bottom bale and lift it up. And if you can imagine, like as you lift it up, the top bale, it started to tilt. Oh, okay. okay. So they're all stacked on top of each yeah. other. Okay. Yeah. So not long ways, but up. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so he went to lift them up and in the cabless tractor mm. and the top one started <gasps> to fall towards oh. him and so he doesn't really oh. remember like too much about what happened yeah so it fell towards him and the bale ended up to the right and he ended up to the left huh. okay so we, he doesn't know if he jumped off and like before saw it coming in like jumped off kind of but it still hit him hmm. um so nobody knew he was there <gasps> because what? he had gone off and he was off long, bailing it was like one on of his own long, yeah it was in a building like a farther building okay he didn't know it was there uh, nobody knew that he was there and he, so he went and luckily had his phone clipped to his like shirt his, okay and so he was able to call and of course he didn't call 911 called the home phone that's what and I like, would probably do yeah, too like yeah. it never occurs to me to like call the police yeah. or call an ambulance <laughs> Which is really good because they probably wouldn't be able to find him. So he called my friend Kristen, who was, I think she was like 22-ish at the time, and told her. And so then they called the ambulance and had them. And then if you're out in the country, you kind of have to guide them where to go. Mm-hmm. Um, but he, so he ended up having his sternum broke. <gasps> oh, And then damn. he had like three vertebrae in the back broke. Is that from jumping off or from it no, hitting from him? No, it's from it hitting him. So it did actually yeah, hit him. and it him. hit him and it broke the steering wheel. It cracked the <gasps> steering wheel. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, so it really had to realize. be pretty heavy. Yeah. yeah. And so he um, had to go into the hospital. He was there. I don't forget how long she said, but then he had to wear, like, a, a neck 
thing and one of those they call it a turtle shell or tortoise oh, shell. Oh, I've thing. seen that. Like, like I a was, brace type thing. Yeah, to like keep mm-hmm. everything. But he luckily didn't puncture anything. I was wow. gonna ask if he was like bleeding no, or okay. had any kind of like I don't concussion. Think so. Not anything major. So Oh wow. Well just your sternum broken. Yeah, just the sternum. That's so painful. <laughs> yeah, so he's doing fine now. He's back to farming and everything. Yeah. And you know, did he have to wear like I? I've seen him where it's just like a big brace that goes all the way around, and then it has the thing that like comes up towards so. your neck. So I think you can't it was like move. a neck brace, and then I like I'm, I'm imagining the thing like kind of like a umpire. Like oh, thing, you know, okay. like yeah. around, mm-hmm. like, like the umpire around. padding that they wear. Yeah, I don't know, but like tough. So I yeah, know. yeah, I hear you. Oh, so. that's. I mean, it could scary. go wrong if it just hit his head on his head or something like that. Yeah, and, and they still him. have the steering wheel. Do they oh, really? Yeah, the cracked they one? Had oh. kept it. They had to replace it, so they kept right. it. I think the tractor was fine. The tractor oh, okay. was pretty sturdy. So. Well, he was lucky. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I mean, Holy shit. Yeah. that's kind of crazy. Like, I, I'm trying to just imagine the whole scenario of this, like, bale yeah. of hay coming down. And he's like, well, Oops. that's not going to be good. <laughs> <Yeah>. Well, I <laughs> used to be scared, like, when we used to go out like my dad would be bailing just the old like rectangular small bales mm. and we would have to go with the empty wagon and then get the full wagon and we'd be like on these hills that are like i was like i feel like we we're gonna fall over and tumble mm. down the hill but they were all fine i was <laughs> fine my mom and dad were just like whatever <laughs> my dad we had an orchard and um what is the like the tractor implement that goes on the back and it's got the discs it's a like disc. is it a disc <laughs> I mean, that's what we called it. Yeah, no, I think you're right. But you know was, more than you think. I know. Yeah. Look at me go. Freaking farm girl. No, um, we just had a small one. So it was just like one row of mm-hmm. discs, you know, and it had like five of them, you know. So it would tear up the soil. And he needed extra weight on it. So my sister and I would ride on it. And we would balance up there and sing Surfing USA like oh while God. we were... And honestly, I mean, we used to, like, fall off the back of it all the time. But if we had fallen forward, because there was a big gap. Like, I think it was just pulled by rope or something. I mean, it was totally just jerry-rigged and not even, you know, it was homemade. (laughs) But if we had fallen forward, we would have been sliced up by all these, like, really heavy discs. But Well, I think that's where a lot of the accidents are, like, people putting their hands in. Yeah. And we just... We were young, and we just thought it was, like, the most fun thing ever. Oh, yeah. I mean, we used to ride on the side of the tractors and do all, like, on the top of the hay van, like, wagons. I just think of some of the shit that we did with my dad, and I think it... My mom didn't know about any of them. I remember one time. She knows now. Yeah. I know, exactly. <laughs> hey, Shirley. <Yeah. laughs> no, his friend, he had this, like, biker friend who would just show up at the house mm-hmm. every now and again, and one day he just brought a stick of dynamite. And so they're like, let's go blow up this stick of dynamite. And so me and my sister are walking out with my dad and Corwin. And we decide we're going to go blow up this crab apple tree. Like, he's cut it down a long time ago, so it's just a stump. Mm -hmm. And it's at the very end of our orchard, which is probably, like, at least 300, 300 to 500 yards from Mm -hmm. the house. I mean, it was a significant way out away. And so they light it up and they put it in. And then I think my dad realized that my sister and I were there. And they're like, run! And so we're all like booking it out of there like as fast as we can. And there is chunks of dirt hitting the house. Like that's how big this explosion ended up being. That we were like, what are you doing, dad? And just like watching him light it. And he's just like, where was your mom? Inside, she never even knew. I think I told her story like two years ago. She's like, "Say what? <laughs> Corbin brought over dynamite, and you know, I think dynamite's illegal. I don't think you're I supposed to have it." <laughs> and oh, so we blew up that crab apple tree, and, and none of us um, were hurt. But yeah. it was one of those like <laughs> that's your survival story. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it was just my dad. I just remember him like, "Oh shit, my kids are here. <laughs> we gotta go." Do you, like, pick you up or anything, or? No, maybe my sister, because my sister was younger, but I just booked it out of there. Like, I didn't even look back. I think I was, like, six. Oh, my (laughs) god! My sister was probably four, and so he probably picked her up and ran off with her. I'm actually amazed I survived my adulthood. (laughs) 
my goodness, Michelle. That's why you don't have to tell a story every week. I know. <laughs> Just your being here. So I yeah, I <laughs> Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. I appreciate you acknowledging that. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell my story. Okay. So my story is about Michael Holmes. Michael Holmes. So this is December 2006. Okay. And he is 25 years old. And he's a skydiving instructor in New Zealand. So he has over 7,000 jumps under his belt. Had you moved back to Wisconsin by 2006? No, I was still here. Okay, I thought you it was were. 2009. When did you move? 2009. Oh, okay, Caitlin. All right, know it all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I see. Um, okay, 2006. This is a very devastating day for me. He's a I'm skydiver. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we were all sad. Um, so on this day in December, it was the third jump of the day. God, so I can't even imagine jumping once, let alone three times in a day. Yeah. So he already checked all of his gear in the beginning. So And then he checked it again before he got on the plane, and he even had someone else check it as well. Okay, so they he's always, very precautious. Yes, he knows exactly what he needs to do for each jump. So they do a jump from 15,000 feet, and he jumped with a tandem pair, and he was um, flying around them taking shots. So he's taking video of these two people um, Okay, skydiving. so these two are hooked together. Yes. Separately from him, yes. he's not attached to them. No, he's okay, not. and he's doing his tricks all the way around. Well, and, like, he's not doing he worked for the company. Yes, just, okay. he's an instructor. Okay. So those two jumped. He jumps. He's taking pictures and mm-hmm. video of them to you know so they can take it home. I don't know to see it. Anyways, so Michael then opened his main parachute about two thousand feet above the ground, and then um. He opens the chute and he instantly started spinning violently. Ooh. He could tell that the parachute was caught on something, but had no time to deal with that because he was spinning so fast. Okay, so it's not expanded. Like Correct. it's not. Whoop, well, it's then... yeah, it's up, but it's twist. It's caught on something, so he's just spinning now oh. with it up in the air. Oh jeez. Because it's caught on something, so he tries to disconnect it because he has a reserve. But when he disconnects, it doesn't disconnect. Oh, my God. And he just keeps spinning and spinning oh and spinning. Oh, that is barktastic. So, so is that slowing him down at all? Or no. Or is he just, okay. No, he's, he's probably picking up speed no. by, he's spinning. like now in a centrifuge. <laughs> Not just... like a drill going down to the earth. <laughs> yeah. so. God. So he's still spinning with his malfunction parachute, even though he did pull the cord. This left Michael in a situation he has never been in before. <laughs> Yeah, because I think at that point, I'd be like, well, I think I'm done with skydiving forever. (laughs) Thinking he's most likely will die, Michael had a hook knife, so he tried to cut the parachute. Cut it off. Uh, mm -hmm. But since he was spinning so fast, he couldn't even move his arms. Oh, wow. Okay. Because of the force from it. Mm -hmm. So he thought about pulling his reserve, but he would, it would most likely just. Just get caught up in the other. Yep. It would entangle in the mess. But he was 700 feet left mm. of like left to the ground. Oh so probably like less than 30 seconds yeah. has even passed exactly. at this point. Oh my gosh. So he's just like, fuck it. I'm going to pull my reserve just to see what happens. Nothing. Oh my <laughs> so, god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's probably because the first parachute is tangled up in the reserve yeah. parachute. Or some so uh, he thought, well, you've done everything you can. So <laughs> well. this is how you're going to die. <laughs> So it's been a good life. Yeah. So he actually stopped panicking and was just coming to terms of what's about to happen in the next few seconds. Oh my God. He actually, the camera was still going. He waved to the camera and said, all right, bye. And hit the ground. Oh my God. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. So he didn't feel any pain, just an emotional feeling of, oh shit, I'm dead. And so then, this is what death is like. And then he fell unconscious. So he didn't, like, slow down at all. No, no. Maybe a little bit with the reserve. I mean, when the, not the reserve, when the parachute first came up, and then, no, he just spun all the way down. So it may have slowed him down with the spinning. I'm not sure. But, so his friend runs to him, and Michael is actually conscious again, and in a state of confusion. Michael landed in a blackberry bush. Oh, God. So it was a dense bush. Um, and it was about a meter high off the ground. So it was better than hitting the ground or the lake that he was above. Because if he hit the lake, 
the impact would have collapsed the lung and he would have been unconscious and drowned. No, essentially hitting water uh, from a speed like that mm -hmm. is like hitting cement. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's like hitting a solid surface yeah. and then you sink and drown. So he hit the ground with his left ankle, left hip, left shoulder, and his head. Michael gives an example of, um, so he would say like, it was like a parkour people, you know how oh, they, God. how they use the, parkour. Yeah, the office, parkour, God. parkour. Um, I'm going to like do a cartwheel and hit the wall. <laughs> no, he said like, cause they use their momentum to and then roll from the impact to stand back up. So when they're like jumping all around and they try right. to land, they roll. And that's kind of what he did in the bush. He landed not straight down, but he kind of like kind of twist like mm -hmm. rolled a little bit. So since he didn't hit vertically just straight down on the ground, he deflected um, the impact of any of his body parts. I imagine Whoa. if you would like land on your feet during that time like your legs must just completely just crush down. I mean, I would imagine your knees would blow out. Yeah. <laughs> your shin bone is up where your thigh bone is or some crazy shit. So. Well, he also, Michael thinks that since he was relaxed and was just accepting death, that contributed to his survival. Because you know mm -hmm. how, like, drunk drivers, like, when they, they don't die because do really they're all well. relaxed and when yeah. they hit impact, it's just like, whoops, you know, like... <laughs> Maybe not like that, but kind of. Kind of. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> um. So that's kind of what he was thinking too. His ankle was completely shattered, like almost off his body. Like it was oh, just limp it's there, like just slipping around. Mm -hmm. And then he had a collapsed lung and some bruises, but that was it. All his internal <laughs> organs. Crazy. All his internal organs were completely fine. What? Yeah. So I would think you'd at least like. Break ribs and puncture lungs. Yeah. Well, he and... did. Well, it was a collapsed lung oh, from yeah. the impact. But with him kind of rolling into a, a bush, a dense bush, not just straight on the ground, it kind of it saved his life. And him being relaxed. I mean, all those... He's a very pro person, so he did everything he needed to to try to survive. But And he did a good job because he did. So. so, Michael says that this was just a freak accident. He said he packed everything completely like the same correct it was correct everything was correct it had just been some kind of fluke accident so does know. he still skydive he said that he plans on getting back out there fuck that and doing what he loves well he also gave an example like you know if you get in a car accident you're gonna drive eventually and yeah but driving around versus falling out of a plane <laughs> is a little bit different it's like making that first like Step out of the plane. Like, nah, yeah, fuck that. You want to know who's never skydiving? You. This girl. Yeah, forget it. Ever. And now <laughs> we'll I was already thousand. kind of on the fence. <laughs> yeah. And never skydiving. Yeah. <laughs> this girl. Well, he, I mean, yeah. Like I said, he had over 7,000 jumps and no incidences. So he just like, it was a freak accident. I'm going to get back out there. And he did. So. Well, good for you, man. Because right? I would not. I would be done with skydiving forever. So this is what I'm thinking as you're. Okay. So he's like filming the camera as mm -hmm. he goes on putting it like basically his last words. Do you hold on to the camera? I'm like thinking, would it's you a, like throw the camera or is it like. It's on? attached. Oh, it's so attached like, to his. Uh, so you like can like get rid of it. Because I'm like, don't you think like that, that camera's going to get ruined? Or, or is on his helmet. Or did it go like digitally? I think it's on his helmet. It's probably like, digitally a GoPro. Set? It's a GoPro. Yeah. Oh, okay. I uh, actually have a video of of him falling. Oh, okay. Of the video of him falling. And I'll post that. So it probably link. goes like digitally. Can we yeah. watch that really quick? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Snap. I'm like, I'm going to barf. <laughs> so this is his point of view. So you can see. He's, so he's just spinning, spinning, spinning. And he's above a lake. Like he yeah. is. I don't know how he hit land, frankly. Oh, it's God. This is hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. If you're motion sickness, do not watch this. And the poor people who were watching, were watching him are like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Well, he's like, getting closer to the land, but yeah. it's still, he's mainly over water. So during this time, like I said, he's trying to cut it. He's trying to pull his reserve. He's trying everything he can, but it looks like he it looks like he's going to fall in the lake, but he doesn't. I don't, yeah, how did, I guess he's, I mean, he is slowly making his way over towards the land. Right. Oh my God. Did he speed up? Oh my well, God. Well, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> he's, like he's speeding up yeah. in the spinning. It's like one of those rides at the carnival. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, oh he's my getting God. Faster. Yeah. He's getting faster. Maybe don't drink when you watch this. See, oh, see, now he's starting to get towards the land more. Oh, he just missed it. Holy cow. Yeah. 
He's going, and you'll see, there's not that much of a blackberry bush, but he finds a blackberry bush. Here goes. Oh my god! It is a crazy video. Yeah. But he was scratched shit, though. I bet in a blackberry <laughs> bush? I yeah. bet. Yeah, there were some bruises. I'm guessing it was also from that, too. But then his friend comes, and he's still conscious. So I don't know how he wow. survived. I do not understand how he survived. But I'll put the link in the description so you guys can see it. That's um, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Wow. It was so crazy. Take a check. Uh, check out that video because that's amazing. Dang, Michael. Good job. Wow. Breathing, he's like not yeah. even looking so bad there. But yeah. So. Oh, but he survived and yep. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm amazed he doesn't have way more injuries. Right? Where was this again? Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. That's another reason I'm not going to that part of the world. Well, <laughs> don't, I mean, just, I guess don't skydive. They're not going to force you to skydive. Yeah. <laughs> they might. You never fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But, all right, Amy, let's hear your second story. All right, so. I think this is the one that I am especially excited Ooh. about. I got a I did. touch of a spoiler. Yeah. Barely. Just to make sure you guys had never, because I didn't it before. think you had, because I have listened to all the episodes. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. But I just want to double check. <laughs> I listen to them at the tread on the treadmill. <laughs> you might think I'm weird. Just the fact that you go on a treadmill, good job. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean, I don't know. work that hard. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I've been on a treadmill. It's probably since you moved away. <laughs> oh. All right. Anyway, so I did find a was I did find a Wisconsin story. Nice. Okay. I, th- I think that accent came out really clear there. Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wisconsin. <laughs> the one that's the big now is um, Ulp. You say Ulp. Oh, you'll probably hear me say it like if like if I like do oh like, like it like, oops like yeah like oh. oops oh I oop. did that I'm like oh motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> I mean I might say oh shit but or something like that but yeah oop oop oh. no I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say that yeah no we're gonna work oop so this is set in 2014 okay, okay. in Waukesha Wisconsin which is a kind of a suburb of Milwaukee so oh, okay. And there's three 12 year old girls who are friends. They're named Peyton, Morgan, and Anissa, I think is how you pronounce it. Anissa. That's cute. And they're excited because they're going to go and have a birthday party for Morgan at Morgan's house one Friday night. It's in May. Okay. That's not really important, but I saw it. So I thought it was a good It's It's detail. We like it. And they. So they went to the skate, like skate land or something. They went I, roller skating. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, or maybe, they went roller skating. I don't know, maybe it was roller blading. I don't know, whatever. I was like, if whatever the, the kids 80s, do. it was roller skating <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Geez, but. And then they were going to go back to Morgan's house because it's her birthday. For a sleepover. So the next morning, all of a sudden the mom of Peyton is mm-hmm. at her home and a policeman walks up <gasps> and a detective and says, your daughter's in the hospital. So she goes, and her daughter has been stabbed 19 times. <gasps> what? 19 times. Whoa. So I thought I'd bring that drama. <laughs> yeah, well, you brought yeah. it. So you brought it hard. <laughs> they went, and um, so what happened? She went, and she found out her daughter, and that they don't quite know what's going on, but they're saying that her friend did it. What? Her friends did it. And Is they, this a Slender so, Man thing? Oh, my God. Sorry. You guessed it. <laughs> you guessed it. I knew you would do uh. it. <laughs> Okay. So kind of to go back. So what had happened is they they went to the skate land. They went skating and went back to her house. Well, the, the other two girls, Morgan and Anissa, Anissa, had been planning this. Mm. What? They had been planning this for a long time. Um, so Slender Man is... Uh, we're going to get Peyton. A creepypasta. Yeah, it's from Creepypasta Wiki. Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, uh-huh. And yeah. They, um, okay, you're saying a lot of words, okay. and I don't so understand let me what back the fuck so that she, is. Yeah. So <laughs> Slender Man, you know what I mean, that this forum, Something Awful, in 2009, they had a contest that asked users to edit photos with paranormal things. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so somebody had submitted this, and it's basically... a. Uh, a tall, thin man without a face who wears a suit. Okay. And he supposedly has like tentacles that come out to and they to lure and atta- attack children. Oh, okay. So these girls, these two girls. I had always heard of Slender Man, but I never really fully understood yeah, I didn't what it either. was. Like and... I, even when this was going on in Wisconsin, and I just didn't really understand what the deal was with it. Um. 
So until I actually started researching, I really didn't even know the full story. Hmm. So these, the two girls, I, they don't really say Peyton had anything to do with knowing about Slender Man. So I'm not sure. Peyton but is the victim? Peyton yeah. is the okay. victim. Okay. Uh, Morgan and Anissa had been going on and they, it's a little unclear whether they both were convinced beforehand that if they didn't do this, didn't kill someone, that their families would be killed. Oh, God. Mm. So they had planned to do this, Morgan and and, and Nisa. Mm -hmm. They had been planning for weeks. to. They were going to bring her over to their house, and they were going to, I believe they were going to just hold her down, duct tape her mouth, and stab her in the neck. That was their plan. So it was like a sacrifice. Yeah. So in their minds. To save their families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like a number of things they talked about with the detectives afterwards to save their families, to prove that he was real. They wanted to become followers of him. Because I oh. thought if they became followers and had the sacrifice, that he would invite them to live with him in their, his mansion. Oh, oh dear. You got Girls. a mansion? Yeah, How apparently there's a now? mansion. Like 13? Well, it was in, they were 12 in 2014. So okay. they were 17, probably 16, 17. No? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, they... So, but they get there that night, and one of them, it's kind of unclear that various things say different things about which one decided they didn't want to do it that night. Mm. Oh. So they wanted to give her one more night. Oh, oh. how nice of them. I know. They, oh, gosh. And keep in mind, like, their parents all thought, like, they didn't think Pey- anything Peyton of this. and Morgan had been friends for years. <sighs> like, the parents thought, like, no issues whatsoever. Like, they hardly ever fought except for normal 12 year old I feel stuff. like I would be the friend who got stabbed like in this I situation i feel like they'd be like i think we should stab michelle i think she's the one to go and i think i'd be the clueless one who wouldn't know that they're planning to stab me <laughs> yeah. no exactly i'd be like dee, 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 dee. i love roller skating yeah. and slumber parties i have no clue i'm gonna fall asleep and the uh, next thing you know <laughs> oh my gosh so the next morning they get up and they decide they're gonna go to this park it's like near a forest Nicolay Forest. In okay, so she's stab free. At she's this stab point. free. She's okay. all good. <laughs> okay. They must have had an okay night. They get up. I, I, they must have called the mom of Peyton, the victim, at some point and said they were going to go to the park. Okay. okay. Um, she's not coming home yet. We're yeah. going to go on another little outing. You know, they last like no biggie. You know, yeah. It's a normal sleepover. So they go to the park and they're playing hide and seek and they're near the forest. And the plan was they were going to go to the bathroom at the park. And do it oh. in the bathroom because there was a drain that would drain <gasps> all her blood. You know, she, so there. This is yeah. wildly premeditated. Yes, they had it Holy all cow. planned out. Oh. Uh, but they end up being in the forest, and they literally just hold her down, and they're trying to decide. And I think it's Anissa says to Morgan, "I have the actual words." She says, "Just go ahead, go ballistic, go crazy." Oh and gosh. so Morgan takes out, Morgan's the one who takes out the knife. It's a, like a... Switchblade? Like a or kitchen s- knife, a five-inch kitchen knife. Oh, gosh. Wow. Okay, so... And stabs her 19 <gasps> times. Oh, my gosh. And then and so they, the other one's holding yeah, her down. Yeah, they're well, holding okay. her down and stabbing Oh, my God. And they leave her. They right. leave her dead. Like, yeah. yeah, they just leave her. And they go, apparently go to Walmart and wash themselves off and then just start walking to try to find Slender Man. Oh, oh my God! So Slender Man is, of course, completely fictional. Yes, <laughs> like it's yeah, not yes. even like a yes. thing, correct? Yes. So it's a contest. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's, there's it's no just, mansion. There's no. No. Oh my God. No. <laughs> then Peyton is still alive, so yeah. she cr- like crawls. Wow. Like kind of out of the forest onto like a path. She finds a pathway. And luckily, this guy who, this path was actually closed. I'm not sure why, but it was closed. But this guy went biking. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Wow. And found her. Oh, and God. calls 911 and, and gets her to the emergency room. where So she, they had a counter. Counted all the stab wounds. They found 19 stab wounds. And luckily, um, one almost missed her heart. They said it was like, <gasps> they talked to one of the doctors on oh, the 2020 no. thing. So there's a 2020 big yeah thing about it and they uh the doctor says that it would have been like one more less than a millimeter it would have hit her heart and she oh would have bled out or had a heart attack 
Wow. Uh, but she had stabs on her uh, diaphragm, liver, stomach. Just but, her whole front, pretty much. Yeah, arms too, I think. Oh, wow. Like arms, abdomen, in this area. So meanwhile, they're trying to find the girls. And they don't really know what's going on because obviously Peyton can't talk. Uh, about what's going on right. and it's probably just so confusing what's yeah. going on i mean they've been friends for years yeah you know, they're young it's like i don't understand what's happening yeah i mean i think she might have said something it's a little hazy because there's so many you know you can't rely on one like, more articles so. right there so the police are looking for the other two girls mm-hmm. and they like contact their mothers and the mothers don't really know what's going on so do the police like, hey, we're looking for your daughters because of this, or just like they don't kinda... really tell them okay. what happened. They just okay. said, you know, they they're in they were involved in a situation at the park. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. They um, find them and bring them back, and like with the parents' permission, they interview them. And this is on the twenty twenty thing too. They uh, show some of the interview, and they talk about. I mean, they are very calm, which is kind of creepy. Yeah. They, they talk about how they wanted to do it for Slender Man. Mm-hmm. Um, that they had to do it, that they they didn't have a choice. And they said, well, why Peyton? Well, we didn't have a choice, you know, I, that they didn't choose her. Hmm. Interesting. And, um, and they, so they admit to, basically admit to all this. Yeah. To so them. how did they, like, know that Slender Man wanted them to do it? Like, I just, I guess I don't really understand how this whole, like, thing came mm-hmm. about. Well, I'm not sure. Is it, like, and videos? I think they kind of talk about it a little bit that, I think they watched the stuff on that creepy pasta, yeah. And I'm not mm. sure what stuff was on there, but they, well, you find out. I mean, that they are both having, you know, they both get diagnosed with some serious mental health mental issues. Mental health issues. Oh. Interesting. That were really nobody knew anything about. Like you talked to all, they talked to their parents and teachers, and there were no indication. Um, but afterwards, the Nissa got she's had diagnosed with depression, delusional disorder. And schizotopy, schizotopy. Oh, interesting. The not being able to determine what's real or not. Oh. And Morgan was actually diagnosed with early onset schizophrenia. <gasps> oh, geez. Which is, early, I guess, really rare. Wow. Yeah, because it usually comes out, doesn't it? Like in your later teens I or earlier so. 20s is like when it starts to kind of emerge. Yeah. And then they oh. found things in Morgan's home that, you know, drawings and... Mm. things that like i want to be dead and i oh my know gosh. and just scary just crazy and stuff. stuff well i remember it was like two years back or maybe i don't think this was the slender man thing but there was like a whole slew of kids videos that in the middle of them it was like go turn on the stove and leave it on and you know it was oh like gosh. telling these... it was a momo momo oh, that's what it was yeah. that was terrifying right. yeah I think that's like gone now, but yeah, I think for YouTube, a, it was a YouTube thing. Yeah, yeah and it was right. like la la la, go kill your parents, la 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 la. la. You know? Wasn't that also like a long faced like? It wasn't long. She it was just like a really big smile. Yeah. Oh, like, that's right. Yeah. Kind of like a Beetlejuice style. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's yeah. terrifying. Yeah, she was gross looking. Um. So we. So after the interviews, what happened? So they did. Um. I mean, I don't know immediately, but basically, as time went on, Morgan and Anissa both got... Well, they became a big dilemma, whether juvenile court or Adult. adults. Okay. Because, you know, if it was juvenile, then they could be held until they're 18 and then let go. Right. But, you know, they, they planned this. Yeah, thing, I know? mean, it was you know, premeditated. Yeah, yeah, big time premeditated. So there was a lot, you know, so they didn't get sentenced until... Um, like a couple of years later, I think they both ended up. I mean, they went through a lot of appeals and stuff, but it both ended up in mental health. And mm. Like they pled guilty to crimes, and then it got changed to being sentenced to mental health facilities. Wait, so the adult or juvenile? Adult. Adult. Oh, yeah. Wow. The judge did not. So they're still appealing it. The last thing I saw was January of this year. Morgan, uh-huh. they're appealing it to try to get you know saying that she didn't really understand what she was confessing to hmm. with oh. the investigators and that she should have been in a, a with an a adult juvenile. with her or yeah something. and that she should have been in a juvenile court but she knew what she did but yeah she, i mean it does seem uh, pretty clear that yeah. they yeah. know what they were doing yeah that's what it yeah. seems pretty obvious i, I mean it's the I 2020 mean, it's thing I mean, is kind of sad because the parents of the girls are 
you know, and you feel really bad for them. I am completely right. devastated, they, they I'm had sure. no idea. I didn't um, mean to raise someone who was going to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a whole thing of, you know, now they're in a mental health facilities until one of them, it's like till they're 37. Whoa. And one till like possibly 53. Holy oh. So, you know, you like they have no socialization, no anything. You know, they're on medications, but so there's, you know, debates about. Is that really right. good? Yeah. You know, does that do any good either? Oh, my gosh. But you said they didn't know much about these diseases that they have? Yeah, or... the parents had no clue. The teachers mm. had no clue that hmm. they had any So they were issues just going completely on. normal, yeah. all 12-year-olds all going yeah, around? Yeah, just normal 12-year-olds, and then, but they had this going on in the background, mm-hmm. that, and they fed on each other, I think. Yeah, yeah I would bet. imagine so. But... Well, it's probably just something that they're you know, between the fear and paranoia and they probably didn't talk about it with anybody else. Right. You know, and then it just built up in their mind. Oh my and then them supporting people. each other probably didn't help. Kind yeah. Of magnify. It's like, yeah, you're right. We do need to kill somebody yeah. or. Yeah. So how is poor Peyton doing? Well, they don't really talk too much about her. They talk to her parents a little bit, but she seemed to recover. Okay. Physically. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I would imagine emotionally she's. Yeah. They sure say are. that she had to sleep with the scissors under her bed oh, for a long time. And, poor thing. Uh, oh, you know, when she woke up in the hospital, she was, like, the first thing was, are they, you know, where are they? Can they get me? Oh. So, well, I mean, those are your close yeah. friends. Yeah. Um, and they were all, I think I get the impression that they were all maybe a little bit of misfits. Mm. Oh. I was like, um, who do you trust I'm like, oh, anymore? my God, it's me even more. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I would be. That's what me and Debbie were doing. <laughs> Fucking knew it. We just couldn't get our act together. <laughs> no, the Walmart was too far away. With... Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, so, so, okay, wait. So, I guess, I mean, for Peyton, I mean, who can you trust? Like, you can't trust your friends. Like, who can you trust? Yeah, like, not to... that would kind of fuck you up, I yeah, imagine, I for bet. a long time. Yes, I uh, can imagine. But, yeah, they didn't show her too much. It would make sense. You don't want to well, yeah, put her in the mm-hmm. limelight. And... Well, she's still so young. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's just a very scary situation. Well, I, I mean, of course I've heard of Slenderman and everything, but I don't mm-hmm. think I really fully understand, understood what was going on. Like, yeah. I mean, I just never really thought there was anything to it other than, like, just a dude that hid in the forest or yeah. something. Like, that liked kids, right? Yeah, I mean, I just never... And I think when I heard of this case, you know, like, immediately just think, like, oh, well, that's, you know, they're just... That's you know, that's an we, excuse, you know, right. for doing this. And, yeah. But I think, you know, when mental illness. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure there was some legitimate fear yeah. that their family was actually going to be killed or some such thing. So have there been, like, lots of incidents with Slenderman? Do you know? No. I don't, I don't think know. So. That was the major one. Yeah. Oh, okay. That came about. I mean, yeah. it stabbed 19 times and she still found the will to, like, crawl her way out like she fought hard yeah if i was stabbed 19 times i don't (laughs) and there's not too much about like her point of view obviously yet so maybe someday there'll be a little bit about what she really hard to talk about i bet still yeah to get over that and i just find it so interesting you know i just find like you know maybe they were meant to live all along i mean just so the whole like just being so close to her heart. If it had just been a touch different, she would be dead. Yeah. You know? And that's just... Or if the um, that guy wouldn't have been bicycling. On a closed road, closed road. you know? Yeah. yeah. It just How makes far me wonder be? if there's, you know, more at work sometimes. Like, that's what I yeah. think about. Maybe she'll grow up to do something Yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Or, a lot yeah. of our victims have. Yeah, yeah like, that is true. Stuff Has like had big impact on the world mm-hmm. afterwards. Motivational speakers, victim rights advocates. Like, yeah. I listened to a thing one time, and it was like, what did he say? It was like, who are you to think that you're not the one who might save the world? Like, oh. how arrogant are you to think that it might? It's not you. You oh, know what I mean? And so I was always like, oh my goodness, like you know, it's just. Anybody can be the tipping scale, you know, type of thing and could be the one that... That's a great quote. Yeah, that's a great quote. I like that a lot. So, it is true. So maybe Peyton has got quite a future ahead of her that she needed to be alive for. That's right. So, check back in 10 years and see. Yeah. 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 She's going to be like, well, I hate this one podcast. (laughs) 
I'm just kidding. Don't. <laughs> Amy from Wisconsin. <laughs> Carol went out to Oregon and look at what She happens. told the story all wrong. No, no, that's what I'm so paranoid about. I'm so paranoid I'm going to get the story wrong and... Is that why you don't tell stories? A little bit. No, like, it's just going to end up being, this. like, somehow disrespectful. And they'll be like, bitch, that's not how it happened at all. And well, when you look up, a lot of them I try to find, like, interviews from them. Like, their from point them. of view. So I'm like, so it's their words saying yeah. it. But, I mean, I try different, more than one article yeah. to get the info. That's, that's crazy. Because just... I've always, that is, like, maybe the some of the closest to, like, the paranormal stuff. Yeah, I sort of yeah. think of. You know, you yeah. know how I like the paranormal stuff, yes. but yeah, I know you've been trying to put that in. No, when you're it like, is. I'm doing Slenderman, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even fully know what that is, but it sounds exciting. That's I mean, good. I didn't know it that wasn't exciting. To Wisconsin. I didn't either. Yeah, it was a big yeah. thing. Yeah. Were you around it? Like, well, I don't know. You hear the news, and you, like I said, you kind of just think it's a little crazy, right? Like, you don't really know the full story. Yeah, I mean, there were there were juveniles, so you didn't really know a lot right. yeah they probably kind of kept right. a lot of the details on yeah. the dl yeah. yeah so and Especially i probably didn't pay game. attention to news that much then right local news mm -hmm. i don't pay attention to the news yeah. at all well because there was another i mean the other story I was gonna do but there's like nothing out there there was a woman up in near eau claire which is north wisconsin a girl who her parents were murdered and she was kidnapped by a guy <gasps> and they found her god it was like how many months later and oh, she was wow. alive and fine, but we haven't heard, really heard too much about it. But, oh, okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but her poor parents were. Aww. But she was just found, like, on the street, and, like, a teacher found her. Oh, gosh. Like, out on the road and, just like, took her and knew around. where she was because she was in the paper, like, mm. everywhere. And, like, Did he just, like, her. okay, I'm going to let you go now. Well, I'm not sure. That's why there's not enough detail to really yeah. tell. But hopefully Peyton, yeah, does well. Her oh, parents her. seem pretty, you know, like protective and yeah. stuff so supportive yeah you want to know how many slumber parties my poor little daughter is going to go to after that <laughs> exactly zero yeah i'm oh, sure I she bet. didn't want to go to any no i'm that. sure you're right i yeah i mean i would have a hard time making friends i mean your trust is shattered yep. yeah another quote i heard same <laughs> one uh when love falls it bounces when trust falls it shatters so oh you were just full of the <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Like a fortune cookie. My goodness. <laughs> okay. I like this. Fortune, they just made fortune cookies on the Great British Baking Show the last episode. <laughs> One of the fortunes okay. was, you'll be sick of writing fortunes. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Amy, thank you so much for coming. On All our... the way from Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah it was fun. <laughs> One year episode. I was so... looking forward to it, so it was fun. Yeah, good. I'm glad. To... And thank you for the drink suggestion. You... Made us brandy likers. I know. You kind of got us out of our rut of yeah. pretty much only vodka drinks. It's really. mostly vodka. Yeah. <laughs> Could we do some predictions on your next? Can I do some Debbie predictions? Ooh, I wish yes. you would. I wish we, you would. Debbie has come from Alaska, and she's going to be on our Halloween episode. So, yes. My tell. prediction is that Debbie is going to make up her own drink. Okay. 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 It's she'll probably make it up on the spot. Okay. It's gonna be I mean, like, the this is a baked Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> she'll like... go to the liquor store and be like, "This looks good." Okay. <laughs> okay. And she will make something on the spot. All right. And she'll make up some Alaska name for it, and it'll be maybe not the greatest thing, but she'll love it. <laughs> this is the White Moose. <laughs> She'll probably have a fantastic story, though. I can just see it. It'll be very detailed, I'm sure. Good. All right. We love details. Yes. Um, <laughs> we're going to hold that. Yeah. We're gonna I'm have... excited. Yeah, I'm super excited, too. Amy's coming back for that one. She'll be... Oh, yay. Are you going to go? I'll sit outside. Or I'll sit oh, you somewhere. sit in here. No, I'll we'll get in, in the stool. I won't yeah. say a word. <laughs> You're just going to hear, hear her laughing in the background. <laughs> yeah. A lot of... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well... <laughs> We're excited for Debbie, and again, thank you, Amy, for coming on. It was a lot of fun. Great thank stories. You. And uh, <laughs> we will uh, see you next time. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you.